Hello everyone, it's Molly here again for another video and I am out once again in the beautiful, hot, steamy weather, which as always means I have to give a disclaimer that I live on a street corner, which means there's traffic over there and there's traffic over there, and so there's gonna be lots of noise and hopefully you guys can deal with it and it's not too distracting, but I just, again, can't help but want to be outside in this gorgeous weather. So as you can see from the title, today is another Molly's Top 5 and it's reasons why people on YouTube think that I'm faking or lying about being blind. Now I've touched on this kind of idea in a couple of videos in the past. Um, like I mentioned in my most recent Q&A video, which I'll link down below in case you haven't seen it. Um, you know, back when I was losing my vision in grade 8, I had some students and even some teachers um, kind of question whether or not I was legitimately losing my vision or whether I was faking it. My medical doctors, my psychologists, my family have always believed in me and supported me um, because uh, there's scientific proof that I have retinitis pigmentosa and that I've actually gone blind, so I can't fake it scientifically. But um, really now in my life, it's been eight years since, since then, and now in my life, there's really nobody who questions it. Like, everybody just knows that Molly's blind, it is what it is. Uh, the only people I get now really that question it are people right here on YouTube, on the internet, and it's not my subscribers, it's not you wonderful, supportive, beautiful human beings who I simply adore, it is the random trolls who either stumble upon my channel and comment on my videos, or reply to comments that I have made on other videos. Now, I don't go around YouTube just like commenting on random people's videos being like, I'm blind. Like, it's not like that. But if I'm commenting on a video that I've watched and my comment needs to have the context of, by the way, I'm blind, for the rest of the comment to make sense, then yes, I mention that I'm blind. And that's often when I get, you know, a thread of a hundred replies to my one comment with ridiculous statements about how I'm probably faking. So, without further ado, long rambling intro is done. Let's get into the top five reasons people here on YouTube think that I'm faking blind. So the first one is a very common one, and that is after I've posted a comment on somebody's videos, and these are people who often don't know that I have a YouTube channel, they haven't watched any of my videos, they've just read my comment where, like I said, I've mentioned that I'm blind, and they question, how could I possibly be blind if I'm typing? You're not blind, you just typed a comment. You couldn't possibly be blind. Blind people can't type. And when somebody, to be clear, when somebody comments and says, Oh, out of curiosity, if you're blind, I was just wondering, how do you type? I don't want to be rude or anything, but I was just curious. That's totally cool. Like, ask away. I'm here to educate. That's why I make videos. That's why I'm a motivational speaker. I want to help people learn about the world of the blind and visually impaired. But when people are like, no, you can't be blind, you're typing. And insert multiple swear words, you know. When they're clearly trying to be rude and get a rise out of me, I have no time for it. Um, I just, I often think, Dude, it's like 2016. There's Siri on your phone that you can talk to and it'll do things for you. Don't you think that the world has figured out a way for blind people to type? Yes, yes, the answer is the world has. Voice over. And at a certain point, I just got so sick of constantly replying to comments and being like, explaining voice over and Apple and how I use it and touch typing and blah, 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 that I just made my how I use technology as a blind person video, which I'll link down below in case you haven't seen it. And now if somebody comments, I just go, look, if you're really interested, there's a video on my channel. You can watch it and learn. Simple as that, because I just have no time now to reply to everybody's comment, especially when they're just being rude and trying to get a rise out of me. Now the second one, again, this often comes from people who have not um, watched my videos but have read a comment of mine and are replying. So this is when I've, again, mentioned in my comment that I'm blind so they know I can't see, but I've also said, oh, I really enjoyed watching this video, or when I watch this, the you know, something involving that. And people go, well, how could you watch the video if you're not blind? If you're not blind, you just watch the video. Why are you even on YouTube if you're blind? Why would you want to watch TV or YouTube videos if you can't see them? Comments like that. Now, I'm not going to walk around going, 
ooh, I was listening to this YouTube video, or like I really commenting, being like, I really enjoyed listening to this video. It just doesn't make sense. Or I'm not going to be like, oh, I was feeling this really cute shirt at the mall the other day. Or I heard that there was this really cute guy at the bar. Like, why would I say that? I'm going to say, I saw, I watched. I look over there. I'll see you later. You know, I'm not going to change my whole way of speaking just to suit my circumstance. It would, frankly, be kind of weird to walk around talking like that. And I don't know any blind people who do. And for me, when I use the word watching, obviously I don't mean physically watching with my eyes the way a sighted person would watch. But for me, the word watching means listening. It's interchangeable for me. And there's many ways that I watch a YouTube video and still enjoy it. Because a lot of people are like, how is that even enjoyable for you? Well, it's enjoyable because my life was without sight, you know? I still enjoy the rest of my life too. And there's multiple ways to enjoy it, whether it be I'm watching something that just simply does not require any further description. It doesn't really require sight to watch, like a story time video. I don't need to see the person sitting telling the story time video. I can just listen to the story. Um, or there's things that, yeah, sometimes need description. So I can watch something with a friend or a family member who will give me the audio description of what I might be missing out on. Or I can watch TV, TV stations like Accessible Media Inc. Um, where they do describe video, or go on Netflix and watch stuff that has described video on Netflix. So there's multiple ways I can still watch something and enjoy it. And yes, I'm still gonna use the word watch and look and saw and see, and that doesn't mean that I'm faking my blindness. Number three is usually for people who have come, stumbled upon my channel, and have watched my videos because they, you know, they can see what I look like. And this is, you can't be blind, your eyes are blue, or you can't be blind, your eyes look normal, or your eyes are too pretty for you to be blind. Just ridiculous statements like that. Now, yes, I'm blind, and I can have whatever color eyes I was born with. I know blind people who have brown eyes, blue eyes, green eyes, gray eyes, hazel eyes, whatever color eyes. We're, they're still eyes. My eye doesn't work, but that doesn't mean it doesn't look like any other eye would. And yes, there are some blind people whose eyes do not look like the average eye. Some blind people have glossy, um, like glossy looking eyes or hazy looking eyes. Some people with cataracts get kind of foggy looking eyes. Sometimes people have strabismus or it is more commonly referred to as a lazy eye. I was actually born with it as well, but it got mine corrected through surgery, which basically means their eyes don't line up, so one goes a different direction than the other, but you can be sighted and have that as well. So, yes, some people who are blind uh, have eyes that, due to a condition, don't look like a standard set of eyes would, but then there's also tons of blind people like me, who, my con like, the condition I have, RP, does not affect the color of my eyes does not affect the shape of my eyes, does not affect what my eyes look like, other than the fact that I do have nystagmus, which causes my eyes to shake, which again, sighted people can have that condition as well. Now another one that again is often said by people who have come to my channel and watched my videos. Actually there was one specific person, I've had other people, but there was one specific man who was really passionate about this. He was kind of like really going hardcore at me about this one and just like you can't be blind you're looking straight at the camera if you were blind you wouldn't be looking at the camera you'd be looking through the camera but you're making perfect eye contact with it blah 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 and I replied trying to educate him as I always do about why as a blind person I am still able to easily look at a camera because number one it's not that hard to look straight forward when the camera is straight ahead of you and number two I use a ring light which is a light that sits right on top of my camera and I have light perception so I just look and see where the light is and then look directly below and know that that is where my lens is so that's where I have to look so no it's not very difficult but he continued to then be like no blah 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 he, he's continuing to just like be very angry about this and just again saying that I'm faking it blah 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 and it's just ridiculous like I explained it's it's very easy and at that point I just stopped replying I'm like you know what think what you want to think it's not that hard to look straight forward and then the final one I want to talk about is 
why don't you wear sunglasses? You're not blind, you're not wearing dark sunglasses. Now again, this is a huge stereotype about the blind community that is not true. Yes, some blind people wear dark sunglasses when they're inside and outside. Yes, some blind people, including often myself, wear dark sunglasses when we're outside. And some blind people don't wear sunglasses ever at all. Now, I often wear dark sunglasses when I'm outside. I wear dark sunglasses when I'm outside oftentimes. I'm not today because I'm not sitting in a very sunny spot, but if I was in the sun, I would be wearing sunglasses. I'll wear sunglasses on a really glary day, so say if it's really rainy and gray and the light is reflecting weirdly, then I'll do it. Uh, I'll wear dark sunglasses if it's really snowy out because the sun reflecting on the snow is really bright and reflecting into my eyes because I am light sensitive and I have light perception like I mentioned. So yes, in those circumstances, I wear dark sunglasses. But in a situation where I'm outside and it's shady, like it is right now, I don't wear them. If I'm inside, my light sensitivity is not so bad that I need them inside, so I don't wear them inside. Every blind person is different, some need them, some don't. I like to protect my eyes from things like eye cancer, from the sun, so I wear sunglasses outside often, but again, not everybody needs to, so not everybody wears them, and that's okay. I'm not gonna wear sunglasses if I don't have to wear them. I'm not going to wear dark sunglasses if I don't need them, and it's as simple as that. I'm not going to wear something just to live out the stereotype that is not true. I am here trying to bre break down barriers, break down stereotypes, and educate people. So that's why I did this video. And I hope it helped kind of clear up some misconceptions that maybe you even had when you stumbled upon my channel. And as always, thumbs this up if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't joined the family already, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye! And the light reflecting is, uh, the light ref Because the sun reflecting, oh my god. I don't know where I was gonna go with that. What the heck? It's pretty sound, that's loud. myself out there. Thought there was like an animal. That's really windy. It's a lot of wind.